This year, I have decided to start a series of paintings showcasing 12 landmarks of my city, Toulouse. As I paint, I invite you to discover the different monuments and streets of this southwestern French city. In today's episode, we are going to discover the capital. Hello! My name is Iris. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Last time, I showed you an overview of the beautiful Basilique saint sernin This month, I am bringing you along to discover the nerve center of Toulouse, the capital. The capital, located at the very heart of the city of Toulouse, is a popular place of passage. This square has been the emblem of the city and the seat of the municipal power for more than eight centuries. It is an essential meeting point in the city center and the first landmark that tourists come to visit. The large, imposing facade of the town hall stands above this square of 12,000 square meters and watches over the city center. To paint this landmark, I needed to get a good point of view. As this is part of a series, all the paintings need to have a consistent style and the same format. From the start, I decided that all the paintings of this series would be painted in a portrait mode. However, in this specific case, this constraint is not optimal to give justice to the landmark. You see, the capital is majestic but it is best seen in a landscape format. Having to conform to a portrait format, I walked around the square trying to find a good point of view to take a picture. The perimeter of the square is occupied by galleries, the ceilings of which are decorated with superb frescoes representing in 29 paintings the highlights of the history of Toulouse. I decided to paint the capital from the point of view of someone who walks under the gallery. This choice was interesting because I could include the outline of the arcade and the lamp into my composition, adding more interest to the final drawing. However, in return, uh, the capital doesn't seem as grand as it is in reality. There is always something happening at the capital. In addition to the exceptional panorama, numerous cultural events take place there throughout the year. It is a very lively place where markets, exhibitions, shows, concerts, etc. take place. Lined with cafes and brasseries where you can rest after a long stroll. It is a beautiful place, and undoubtedly one of the most visited and best placed squares for a tour in the city center, nearby all the shops and main monuments. The capital houses the town hall and the capital theater. Its construction was decided by the capitouls, who were municipal magistrates, in 1190, in order to establish the seat of the municipal power. The façade, punctuated by eight columns symbolizing the eight capitals who governed the city, was built between 1750 and 1760 from the drawings of Guillaume Cama. You will notice on the ground and in the center of the square the golden Occident cross formed with the twelve astrological signs. The Occident Cross is a symbol of the Midi-Pyrénées region, where Toulouse is located. Inside, the numerous rooms can be visited freely. On the first floor, 
You cross magnificent reception rooms that are decorated with the allegories of love by Paul Gervais. Ten giant canvases by Henri Martin. And, notably, the Salle des Illustres, whose paintings retrace the history of Toulouse and whose statues bring back to life the personalities that have defined the city. Located along the façade of the Capitol, the Salle des Illustres has been classified as a historic monument since 1994. Today, it serves as a reception room for distinguished guests from the city of Toulouse and for weddings. Back to the painting. Just like last time, I first drew the outlines with colored micron pens. This is very helpful as it takes out a lot of work from the painting itself. It is tedious work, but after that, the painting process is rather straightforward. I painted the sky in a very simple way as it is not the main focus of the painting using manganese and ultramarine blues. I kept forgetting that manganese blue is a granulating color so the sky ended up having more texture than what I really wanted. The clouds were painted with a mix of neutral tint, rose matter and Cambodge Nova. The main characteristic of the Capitol's façade is the fact that it is pink with white stripes. I had to convey this peculiar coloring in my painting while keeping a color palette that would seem a logical follow-up to my first painting. I then worked in having the town hall façade as the main focus of the painting using a warm pink palette with a mix of different pinks, namely Potter's Pink, rose matter and rose gold. Even though there was a lot of details drawn in the foreground as there is a glimpse of a terrace of a cafe with people having drinks and eating snacks, I painted the whole scene in a dark purple as I wanted the focus to be on the building only. The shadows were painted with a mix of indigo and cobalt teal blue. I reinforced the color of the sky with ultramarine blue on top of the manganese blue as once dry the color was too pale. At the end, 
I glazed the whole building with yellow and orange hues to represent the warm afternoon light. I worked in a gradient from yellows going towards pinks and magentas, then towards purples and then I went on darkening the foreground more and more. In fact, if you pay attention, you can clearly see that the more we progress to the foreground, the darker and cooler the colors become. This way, the eye focuses on the town hall building and not on the objects in the fore and middle ground. As I finished this painting, I realized that I was not as happy with it than I was last time, as I feel the format doesn't give justice to the beauty of the building. But as a whole, the two watercolors are a coherent body of work and function well as a series. I hope you have enjoyed this overview of the second landmark of Toulouse and my painting. Next month, I will bring you along to discover a museum located within a beautiful hidden building. The Hôtel Assesa Fondation Bamberg. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me and if you did, let me know by liking this video. And if you want to see more of my creations, subscribe. Have a nice day, night, whatever the time you're watching this, if you're watching it until the end. Thank you for watching.